How y'all doing today, fellas? I'm back with another video, and this is gonna be a requested video. This is gonna be how I use my derma roller. So it's Friday night, always derma roll Friday nights, Tuesday mornings to kind of keep that even schedule twice a week. And so before you start derma rolling, you wanna make sure that your skin is nice and clean. So the first thing I do is take some alcohol, you can see this, and I got a cotton swab. And I pretty much sanitize my face. So I just go, go along my beard, and pretty much my entire face. Cause I, when I derma roll, I hit everything, man. I hit my forehead, eyebrows and everything. But definitely because you wanna make sure that your skin it's really clean. I just jumped out the shower as well because you're going to be puncturing your skin a little bit with the thermal roll needle. All right. And so here's the dermal roll that I'll be using. I'm not sure the brand. I will leave a link down in the description. It doesn't really matter the brand as long as you're using a 0.5. And so the derma rollers or micro needlers, they come in different lengths of the needles. They it starts from 0.25, then 0.5, 0.75, and I think it goes all the way up to two. Uh, the perfect one for what we're trying to uh, what we're trying to do achieve in beard growth is the 0.5. Anything higher than that, like 0.75, one, you're kind of pushing it. Um, you may start bleeding if you use that. And anything higher than one, you definitely don't need to be using. That's You want to leave that to like the professionals like dermatologists. And so what I do is I take it out. And it's already sterilized. I'm going to show you how it sterilizes at the end. And you get this in focus. And what I see a lot of people on the internet do you know what I'm saying? They go like this. One, two, three, four, five. To me, that's not enough. So what I do is one, two, three. So I go twice as many reps instead of one, two, three, four, one, two. And I just do my whole face. So I start from here and I count to 10. And once I do that, I come over here and then I go like this and I come up the sideburns then I go around this side right here do the same thing go under my chin and then once I do that I come sideways and hit it like this and then I come all the way up I come all the way up and like that and with my mustache it's kind of hard to go up and down so I just go sideways like that um, under my chin, you can go like this, and then I hit it sideways, and then I come up on my forehead, you know what I'm saying? And, and also, when you're doing this derma roll, whenever you're doing this, you don't want to like scrape over. After you've hit all your reps on one area, you want to pick the derma roller up and then put it on an, another area. Because if you just start trying to move it while it's already in your skin, you're just gonna scratch your skin up. And it's, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna mess yourself up. That's not what you wanna do. You just wanna make these tiny little puncture holes. And from my experience, uh, the first time I used it, I kinda, it kinda hurt a little bit like on my chin areas like around my beard it wasn't that painful um but my forehead once i when i did my forehead for the first time it was just like screaming pain like like it felt like my forehead was on fire for like half a day and also the mustache is a little sensitive but after a day you're good and like i said after you derma roll you want to make sure that you wait 24 hours to apply the minoxidil now i still apply my oils my black my Jamaican black castor oil, but you don't want to put any uh, minoxidil on it. So I just uh, fast forward uh, myself going through the process right here.
All right, so I'm done derma rolling. And so now that I'm done, I wanna make sure that I sanitize this derma roll. So what I do is I get a little cup and I fill it like halfway up with alcohol and I just sit my derma roll in like that so that it can soak. I soak it for like, you know what I'm saying, five minutes and then I take my derma roll out and I let it air dry. I sit it on like a paper towel and I let it air dry for like 20 minutes. And then once I'm done with that, I put it back in this case and it'll be ready for next week or Tuesday morning for when I use it again. So hopefully this video was informative. This is just the way I do it. This may not be the right way, but it's been working for me. If y'all have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. I'll see y'all on Monday with week 11.